Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and I've just got a red arrow in game week 24. And I've already made three transfers at the cost of eight points for game week 25. So let's look at that. But before we do, let's see what's happening in the Midnight Mule FPL League. Those that are eagle-eyed amongst you might notice these graphics are slightly different to normal. That's because at the time of me putting this all together, the site hadn't finished updating. So I've taken these from live FPL. So BB United by Andre Bulbeck was the top scorer this week with 82 points, which is massive compared to what most people got. Let's see how he managed that. Well, he had Rashford as captain for 30 points, Fernandez 12, Odegaard 8 and Tarkovsky, who he brought in this week for 8. Now, Silva didn't play, so he got 0 points. So off the bench came Martinelli and loads of people benched Martinelli this week. So you may think Andre was lucky to get those 6 from Martinelli, but on the other hand, had Thiago Silva played, Chelsea may have kept a clean sheet, so may have got six points anyway. So maybe not quite as lucky as it looks at the first glance. Top of our league at the moment, has been for a long time, but this may be his last week, is Jacob Eriksson with Skogs Glanton IF. Currently on 1571, but second place is on 1570. So he got 15 from Rashford, 8 from Odegaard, 6 from Shaw, 5 from Kane and everyone else blanked. And he captained Haaland, as did most people, including myself. On the bench, he had Martinelli, as did lots of people. So where am I? I'm all the way down in 64th with just 48 points. I got 33 points from Shaw, Rashford, Fernandes between them, and 15 from the rest of the team because everybody else blanked. Perisic, Tottenham, they kept a clean sheet, but he didn't start. Most games he does start. And most games he stayed on for at least 60 minutes. But today he didn't. He just come on near the end. But he did get time to get booked, hence the zero points. And then on my bench, I too had Martinelli. And then Gabriel got one, Bueno two. So for me, I've got a red arrow. I was just outside a million. Now I'm about 70,000 worse off than I was before. And I did look back at my captaining decision yesterday after the Harlem blank and before Rashford played. And I could see why on earth did I pick Haaland. That was silly. I, I know the reason was I knew most people would pick Haaland. And if I got the choice wrong, it cost me dearly. However, Haaland has been quite poor recently, generally. And Rashford's been pretty consistent. So that's completely my fault. And I'm glad to see at least some people that watch this channel did choose Haaland. That's the right thing to do. 520 subs. If you enjoy watching me suffer like this and make mistakes, please do like and subscribe and leave comments taunting me. That's fine. FPL Game Week, they have a content creators league. Top of the league is still Harry Daniels. Good old Harry, we like him. Ben has moved back up to second and Ross has fallen back down. He's now in fourth place. So there's a bit of a ding-dong battle going on between these three. There's two other people in there as well, of course, in the top five. But these are the three that I follow on social media. If you go to this site and you look at this league, you'll see where you would appear in this league. And I would be all the way down in 52nd out of 56. So that's pretty poor, but who knows, maybe the next few weeks I can get onto the top 50, which would be nice. Actually, it'd be very bad if I can't get in the top 50, to be honest. So there I am. So like I said, I've already made three transfers at the cost of eight points. My team as it stood, I had five players not playing for next game week. So I thought I need to get at least two in. However, to finance it, I've actually brought in three players. So I've sold Shaw and I brought in Trent. I've sold Fernandez and I brought in Gakbo. So at least now I've got two playing players for two that weren't playing. And I've sold De Bruyne and I've brought in Salah. So my captain and vice captain, I think I'm going to captain Salah and have Enketia as vice captain. So of all the players I am going to manage to field next week, I think Salah's got the most chance or rather the best chance of getting a good score. And then possibly Enketia, which is why he'll be the vice captain. A lot of people may well go for Saka or they may go for Odegaard, but I don't have those. I've got the wrong Arsenal players. Well, I say that now, of course, they might do well next week. So the way my team's going to line up, double from Liverpool, I've got Trent, Salah and Gakpo. From Arsenal, I've got Gabriel, Martinelli and Ketia. And then I've also got Bueno from Wolves, who is a double game week player. But we can't be surprised if he comes on for some of the second half or he doesn't play at all and he just stays on the bench. So he's not really a very safe player for me to have. But he may come on. I From Man City, I've still got Edison in goal and Haaland up front. 
both of who have been disappointing recently generally. And I have Perisic and Felix playing each other. So the way I see my team for next week, I do have some good players. But Breno, Perisic, Felix, possibly Martinelli, possibly to a lesser extent Gakpo, all a bit risky, may get low scores. But there's none of those where I'm confident I can take them out for a four-point hit and get somebody else and who will get four points more. So, for example, I could sell Perisic and then get Tarkovsky and hope that he gets four points more. But Chelsea Tottenham, that could be a nil-nil. Perisic could start. He often does start. So I'm going to stick with this for now. That's my current plan. Obviously, if a player gets injured midweek, I will probably end up spending more points. And on the bench, I've got Ward. And then the three players I kept who aren't playing are Matoma, Rashford and Trippier. But I have seen on social media, some people are now looking to sell Trippier because Newcastle haven't kept a clean sheet for a couple of weeks and they've lost Pope. So there might be another couple of games where they won't keep a clean sheet. So there we have it. I hope you had a better game week 24 than I did. And I hope my game week 25 relative to the rest is an awful lot better than my game week 24. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. (laughs) 